you would hang your head in shame and go back into the control room and the next person would go in and have a go at singing the song. And the, <laughs> that's the audition process for 10 cc's vocal lead vocals. <laughs> Eric and I tended to write more, I think it was kind of a sort of pop influence, whereas Kevin and Laura were more into experimenting, but then they needed, I think, more of our studying influence on them. Sometimes the songs would benefit from our rearranging them. They would do one brilliant part and never, ever repeat it. It would drive me mad. So you've got to repeat this at somewhere else. Hey, maybe you could do it like this. There's something that you get a certain extent with the Beatles as well. You get those different voices and those different ideas coming through. But with Tennessee C, it was that kind of slightly cut and pasty feel to their albums and even to their songs. It's in many ways quite ahead of its time. You get that quite a lot in modern pop songs nowadays. You're just noticing like shifts of mood really quickly. And there are certain modern songwriters who've taken a lot from that. Oh, it's quite obvious that there are the two main inputs. The traditional songwriting as represented by Graham and Eric, and then the art school background as represented by Lowell and Kev. And when you bring more than one source of material to a group, you make the group richer. And so 10CC had a wider and deeper uh, catalog than they would have had they been just one or the other. You To me, if there was one album that epitomizes this 10 CC, it's sheet music. We've got lots of very, very good reviews for that album. I and I think, rightly so, he said modestly. After sheet music, which was a big seller, we had hits, big hits. Worldwide, we were getting bigger sales. We were stone broke. 10 CC were skint because our contract was paying us 4%. I called Jonathan King. I said, Jonathan, we've been with you three years now. We've got two years to run on our contract. Four percent, I'm sorry, we can't survive on it. We're skint. And it's Parliament on the soul train with a groove that sure enough makes you want to move real smooth. It's called Aqua Boogie. Says no. 